Okay. Ina make sure both isotopes, an equal number of atoms of each isotope is present. So the average atomic mass of the element is 50% of 18. <coughs> So let's have top one. So before we have 18, I'm sorry, AMU, atomic mass unit, and the other element has 19 AMU, or atom atomic mass unit. In a mixture of both, both isotopes, an equal number of atoms of each isotope is present, the average atomic mass of element is 50% 50% of 18 AMU plus 50% of 19 atomic mass unit of other element so this equals to 18.50 AMU atomic mass unit per atom or 18.50 grams per mole okay so let us have um, an example of calculation how do we how do we know how how many protons are there in an element a neutron okay electrons atomic number and the weight weight which is the um, mass number the mass number, the sum of protons and neutron. Okay. So where can we find those um, those numbers? So I want you to um, have a periodic a, a periodic table of elements. Okay. So let us first. have an example here let's compute first for for number of protons electrons neutrons atomic number and weight the element element name symbol number of proton number of neutron number of electron atomic number and mass number which is a mass number or weight let us have first of fluorine okay so what is the symbol for fluorine what if we have um, 10 numbers, other numbers of neutron and 9, 4 atomic number? Going back to, to what we discussed, um, protons, electrons, and atomic number have the same number. They have the same number. 
if we have 9 here, we'll be having 9 for electron and 9 for proton. So for, for weight or mass number, we'll have to um, us get the sum. Get the sum of protons and neutrons. So we have here protons, sum of protons here and neutron. This one pala. Which is the A. Okay. We will be having 19 here. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you're following it, let's have, let's have another one. Gold. So we have 79 protons and 197 um, weight or mass number. So what are we feeling? Um, this now first we have protons same with electrons and same with atomic number is this is this correct for you what do you think yes of course so let us have first um, um, the neutron. So what is the neutron? We'll be finding it to. Oh, pwede natin kunin to using um, the reverse, which is the um, you you're going to add protons and neutrons here, getting the um, mass. Oh, so let's deduct first na lang 197 minus 79 118 here okay so do you think this is correct if this then we'll, ha we'll have another uh, element which is boron cobalt um, gonna make another one here what the wait Cobalt and iodine. Iodine. Or iodine. So you must feel um, these boxes, these blanks. Okay, I'm gonna write first some information for you not to be confused. 42 here, wow, and 27 for, for atomic number, we have 53 for iodine, and 127, so some information here, um, you can find it there on the periodic table. Okay, so so let us have an example here. Oh wait, are we done? So I'll give you, I'll give you one minute or thirty seconds to do that. Okay, 
for us not to be confused uh, let us have information for um, the table of element or what are the things that you must find so this is a block for for an element so let us have first um, the hydrogen so on the top left we have its atomic number okay so we have a symbol here which is the um, H okay and the name here hydrogen okay and where are we finding the weight weight is usually on the top right which is one point one point zero zero seven nine seven which is the um atomic weight Oxidation states or valence. We have plus one, negative one. Some some periodic table uh, shows its melting point, which is two hundred fifty-nine point fourteen. Next is two hundred fifty-two point eighty-seven. And the density sometimes they include the density here. Point eighty-nine. Now let us identify or label these parts. Okay, so we have here atomic number. atomic weight oxidation states or what we call valence valence next is the melting point some um, some periodic table um, show melting point of a certain um, element okay, so we have here degree celsius boiling point also boiling point degree celsius also its density um the name the symbol okay so what are you uh, finding so here here the symbol and the name also okay for 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 your or fyi for this um, box okay so you might use this info let us move now to the next okay so let us discuss the next one which is the isotopes in Frederick Soddy
recognize the isotopes. The atoms of the same element having the same number of protons and electrons but with different number of neutrons in the nuclei. So this is how they describe an element which is the isotope. Okay, element or elements that have the same number excuse me of protons electrons but with different number number of neutrons in the nuclei okay this is called as isotopes most elements exist in two or more isotopic forms when and when it is important to distinguish between these forms the following notation is used so let us erase this first for proceeding okay so sabi dito um when it is important to distinguish between these forms the following notation is used so what are the notations so a element z symbol okay symbol a stands for the number mass number and the, sim the symbol Z stands for atomic number for example okay we have chlorine okay, has isotopes which is Cl 35 and CL 37 so how are we going to show the isotopes or different number of neutrons using chlorine so let us have first the box here first mm. okay let's change this to this one we have the first one as 2517 CL Okay, and another chlorine here, which is 3717. So this is same element. It same element and different mass number so let us show um, how do they differ in mass number so from the nucleus we have number um, number of protons as 17 and for neutrons we have 18 of course we'll be adding this to find the mass number 
right to get the mass number you have to get the sum of proton and neutron we have 35 so electrons here we have 2 8 and 7 for the other one which has 37 mass number the number of protons here is the same as we discussed earlier but different number of neutron that's why we have 37 here mass number so we have different mass number and this one okay how about the electrons same same number of electrons so we have two eight and seven same so we only differ from number of neutrons here that's why they are called as isotopes so as you can see okay so henry cavendish let us have another name here henry cavendish was an english scientist who was given for the discovery of hydrogen because in year 1776 he prepared a quantity of gas and observe its properties okay so let us show the three isotopes of hydrogen Okay, so let's first have this one. We can, uh, we, we will name this as Prosum. Demonstration or tritium. So let us have its um, number of neutrons here inside. Okay, so deuterium here. Okay, so this, um, these, these are three isotopes.
isotopes of hydrogen okay So this is uh, three isotopes of hydrogen. This. Um, so let us have a table, completing the table. Okay. Let us complete the table first. Subatomic particles, atomic particles. We have here three three columns with this one and this one. Okay, so electrons, electrons. And neutron. So we'll be showing the isotopes of hydrogen in the nuclei. So isotopes. First one is protium, potion, deuterium, and tritium. So we have number of electrons. They have the same one, 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 one. Protons have one, one, one. And for the neutrons, they have only protium. Doesn't have neutron. Deuterium, it has one, and tritium, we have two. Atomic number, of course, here. So we have one, 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 and the mass for the weight. Atomic mass. So we have one, two, three. Okay. So forget uh, to get the um, atomic mass. You need to um, you need to get the sum of protons and neutrons. Okay. So proton and neutron here. One, two, and three. Okay. So, that ends our discussion.
about the um, uh, the atoms, subatomic particles, and isotopes. I hope you like this video. If you do like it, um, you may um, make a comment and share it to your friends and classmates. Okay. So thank you for listening. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.